Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Natalie and this is All Things Natalie. Today I'm going to tell you what perfumes I wore last week and I did get a couple compliments when I wore one of these. This does include Body Mist too, so keep in mind that this is budget friendly. Let's get into it. The first one I'm going to start off with I wore on Saturday. This is Roses Veni by Mansara. This, I wore this little sample. I wanted to wear this boozy, metallic-y rose scent. I enjoyed this, and I felt like it was kind of strong. I was getting a headache, so I wore a perfume later that day, and I switched to Fancy by Jessica Simpson, which is very affordable, and I like this. It's a caramelly apple kind of pear scent. It is very nice. It's affordable. I got mine for $20 at Ross. And that is a 3.4 ounce bottle or 100 milliliter. The next day I wore, I also wore two perfumes that day. Um, I wore this. This is Aura Eau de Parfum by Munkler. This is discontinued. I wanted to smell really noxious that day. And this is kind of like a humid jungle meets laundry soap or like fabric softener. It is a very curious smelling perfume. It looks black, but it's actually green, if you can tell. Very pretty bottle. My nails are chipping. I did that a week ago, so yeah, that's why they look like crap. And then I wore Lieb Intense to my niece's birthday party because I didn't want to wear Aura, which is very, like, polarizing. I wanted something that was, like, elevated and smelled good. And this is, like, a lavender, vanilla, jasmine, orange blossom perfume. Next day, I wore Cloud by Ariana Grande. This, I hardly can go a week without wearing this once. It's very comforting to me. I love how it dries down. I'm almost halfway through this bottle. It's only one ounce or 30 milliliters, but still I have trouble um, going through perfume bottles because even though I have a fairly small collection, if you compare myself to other people, I don't like to wear like a ton of perfume because I get headaches. And so I normally do like four or five sprays, maybe not even, especially if I spend a lot of time at home. But anyway, this is like a comforting lavender, coconut, vanilla, and the opening is like very strong and candy-like, which is why it's supposed to smell like Baccarat Rouge. The next scent I wore, I wanted to wear a spicy perfume, and I wore... Tom Ford Noir Extreme Eau de Parfum for men. I do really like this, but it is not what I remembered in store. So I think my nose changed because I went to my local department store and I smelled the parfum version of this. So it would be Noir Extreme Parfum. And it, it did smell similar to this, but like slightly more leathery. So I think my nose has changed. I, first, I thought this smelled like nutmeg-ish and quite sweet, and now it smells more like, I don't know, it definitely smells more manly now. Moving on to a body mist, I got two compliments on this. Well, technically one, but this is Cotton Candy Clouds by Bath & Body Works. I like to wear this to bed. And one day I wore it as my scent of the day, and I told, I was told that the whole smell, the whole house smelled good, and whatever I was wearing was really nice. And another person told me, like shortly after I sprayed this on, that I smelled like I was baking a cake. So, I don't know if that was a compliment or what, but... I mean, it's better than smelling like B.O. or something, so I'll take it. The next day I wore, I wanted to wear something fresher because I had a migraine. And I had, 
I had worn CK into you. This is a cedar, grapefruit cedar scent. I think it has pink pepper in here. This is really mass appealing. I think it smells wonderful. I've gotten, I want to say like compliments from teachers, parents, family members, friends, like people really like this scent. It's just fresh. I think it's good for the gym or every day. I like to wear this more in springtime, so I might be wearing this a lot more now. And at night, I like to wear Chirosa 71 by Sol de Janeiro. Janeiro. Not sure how it's pronounced. But this is caramelized vanilla and macadamia. If you can see that. And here's the note rundown. But anyway, this smells like cookie-like. It's very delicious. I like to wear this to bed because it is quite sweet. And I only do like three sprays of this. It does have an alcoholic opening, but it's a body mist, so it has a less lower oil concentration than a perfume. And the last scent I wore was Juliet Has a Gun. Mm, this I hadn't worn for a short little while. But then I start wearing it and I want to wear it on and on and on again. In fact, I am going to wear it today. So yeah, this is the bottle and it kind of looks like a fairy tale. Here's an owl, stars, vines, an apple with a bite out of it. It's very cute. Anyway, that was all the perfumes I wore last week. Thank you for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful day. And I think I'm going to do a perfume of, or a video where I only do um, my top perfumes for life. So keep your eye out for that. I want to know what perfumes you wore this week or if you have only one or two signature scents. I would be curious to know what they are. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye!